So I just did this order here at Sam's and we cannot check out because Instacart, Instacart is linked to fraud. What's up guys? So I just got out of the Sam's Club. You probably saw the little clip of the shopping cart where the account that I was using was flagged for fraud. And I'm sure I'm not the only one, which is very funny because just the other day I was watching AFIT cart and he had the same situation. He went to Sam's. There was an issue checking out because they could not recognize the membership number that are inside of the app. For those of you who have never done a Sam's or a Costco order through Instacart, as you go through the checkout process, at the very end, a membership number will pop up and that's how you would finish out the order. You cannot check out at these big box stores unless you have that membership number. Me, just thinking it was a temporary glitch for that day, came and picked up this order. It was, it was $18 for like, five items customer i think was like five miles away nothing crazy but it was something to get my day going when i got to the front to check out i scanned the number like two to three times thinking maybe i had it at a weird angle <laughs> maybe my fingerprint was smudging the screen but no that was not the case i even called over one of the people who you know monitor the floor to help me they even went into the administration section manually typed in the code and it said the same thing account not recognized go to the support desk for help and i remember commenting on aphid carts uh video saying that's weird that instacart couldn't give us like a temporary number or something because maybe that universal number that they have inside the app is just not you know jiving right now and we can actually put in the customer's real membership number i don't know i was just throwing some stuff up against the wall so she told me go to the membership area and they might be able to give you a temporary card i'm like yes that's exactly what i want that would make sense so when i go to the membership area she scans in my card kind of gives me a weird look <laughs> well she scans in the card not my card and she takes my phone and starts typing it in manually and was and she kind of stood back like she was reading something pulled out the walkie-talkie and called for a manager i'm like oh this is serious i've done retail and i know when different stuff pops up on the screen something is not right so i pull my phone back and start to try to chat with instacart because i'm trying to get everybody on board to find out what the heck is going on and i just asked i said so did you see something wrong with the car too and she's like yes that card number is linked to fraud and i'm like wow that member like that person's membership is linked to fraud and she's like yeah it's showing fraud and it's been used in like five different cities and all different kind of county. I'm like, that's crazy. So I finally get in contact with Instacart. I had no idea you can actually talk to these people on the phone now, that's great. At first the call gets disconnected because they couldn't hear me for whatever reason. And I thought that maybe they were just trying to avoid talking about the situation, but they did end up calling me back. And the agent told me to hang on for a second while they look into the account and they'll be right back. While they put me on hold, the manager finally came up and I saw them out the corner of my eye. They were looking at the screen, pointing at stuff and telling the other girl like, yeah, this is like, there's a situation here. So she was about to walk off and I was like hey before you go what's going on on the screen like what did you find and she's like fraud yeah it's fraud <laughs> she she was actually like enjoying telling me that it was fraud like yeah it's fraud and you know it's fraud you guys all know it's fraud like she was having too much fun uh, explaining to me that it was fraud on the machine I was like okay cool I kind of understood that but like what like what more can you tell me uh is it just this membership in general or is it instacart altogether and she's like no it seems to be instacart there was a girl that came in five minutes before you that had the same issue it's fraud on those numbers they're linked to all kinds of shops all over the place at multiple times so you know if i'm shopping here in austin i should not have the same membership activated in shopping somewhere like in Delaware like it just that should not just be happening so that's what I gathered that was going on with the Sam's Club card I said so is that something that needs to be resolved with you guys or can I get like a temporary card and she's like no you need to talk with Instacart who you're talking to and they'll figure it out and then she just kind of like walked off I was like okay cool <laughs> so I Instacart finally comes back and they said yes it is an issue that we are exploring well do I need to tell the customer that unfortunately we can't deliver this and they said we've already contacted them I started hearing little notifications on my phone letting me know that the order was being released she said I would be confident for this the order was $18 and it looks like at the top of my screen I got 13 I guess the customer tipped five dollars on this which is fine but yeah that seems to be someone just pulled up next to me in a parking lot full of spaces <laughs> <sighs> Let me finish this video. So it's good that I got compensated for something and the trip wasn't a total bust. But I also asked the agent, is this also something I need to watch out for doing Costco orders? And she's like, no, no, right now it's only linked to Sam's Club, which I don't really believe. I feel like there's something going on with all of these membership. And in turn, I feel like that's Instacart's own fault for ignoring everything that we've been saying all these years. There are people out there that are scamming the system. I'm sure there are people who have screenshotted 
those membership numbers and have come to Costco and come to Sam's and been shopping on their own merit or sharing it around in one of those crazy bot rings and just doing stuff that's messing it up for everybody that's out there that's trying to do this the right way. She was very vague on how long this might take before they can uh, get this resolved. So, cause I asked her, I said, so you're telling me for today, I should probably avoid any um, Sam's Club orders. And she was like, okay, well, yeah, thank you for calling. If there's nothing else I can help you with, you know, just pretty much trying to get me off the phone. Like, okay, I can take a hint. So I don't know how long this is gonna happen. If you guys take a Sam's Club order, you might wanna go into the chat support right away and just ask them, are there still any ongoing issues with the member numbers? Because it would suck to drive over to a store, shop the entire thing, get to the front, and then run into a situation like this. So as for today, I'm gonna continue to go out here and do some other orders. I'm not gonna take anything from Sam's Club. The interesting part, while I was sitting here, another order came up for about 30 bucks at the Sam's Club that I'm sitting here. Why are you still sending out Sam's Club orders for deliveries that we cannot meet? If a person wanted to cheat the system, they can just collect those orders, maybe wait a few minutes and then call support and say, hey, I can't deliver this because the membership card's not working. Don't worry, we'll still pay you for the compensation of the time that you put into this. Cancel all Sam's Club orders. I don't get it. I, I don't get the functionality of how some of these multi-million dollar tech companies are supposed to operate. I don't know. But either way, if you guys have experienced this, let me know down in the comment section. If this is your first time hearing about this, do use caution, except in any Sam or Costco orders within the next few weeks here, because who knows when they're actually gonna have this issue fixed. I hope this doesn't put a damper into you guys who heavily rely on these big box stores for your earnings, and you're actually able to pivot and still make the money you need. So until the next video, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.